powered seating systems with multiple actuators use either a four-way toggle or a quad push button for operation. This switch will come on the chair pre-programmed and ready to operate, but can be reprogrammed or have the switch or button directions reassigned to meet the user's needs for powered seating operation. Programming these switches will also be necessary if replacing a joystick, replacing a display, or when restoring programming to factory settings for any of several reasons. The four-way toggle, or the quad push button, plug into a powered seating box on the chair. Either a standard four-way switch box or a multiple actuator interface box, sometimes referred to as a smart four-way switch box. The multiple actuator interface box also enables powered seating to be operated through the driver control. The standard four-way switch box does not. Programming powered seating to operate through the driver control can be found in its own video. Programming the powered seating switches can easily be done by making one simple programming change. Simply plug in the Mark 6 handheld programmer, turn the programmer on, scroll down to calibration settings, press select, scroll down to four-way standard program or 4W standard program and press select, then select one of the configurations of the powered seating systems installed on the chair. The abbreviations used are pretty straightforward. TRL is tilt, recline, and legs. TR would be for a system with tilt and recline only, tilt only, and so on. Select the configuration of the chair, or in this case, tilt, recline, and legs, and press select. Press save, and then save again to complete your change. To customize these settings for your user, go back to the main screen, Scroll down to four-way switch and press select. You will now see each of the directions of the four-way switch or quad push buttons and the actuator assignment for each. To make a change, highlight the quadrant such as forward and press select. You will now see a list of choices you can scroll through to reassign what happens with the forward command. Simply select your change and continue on for the rest of the quadrants. When finished, save your changes and the switch is now ready to operate the way you need.